All right, guys, time for another book review, a running book review. We are reviewing Faster Road Racing by Pete Fitzinger and Philip Ladder. So Pete Fitzinger is a former Olympic marathoner, a renowned coach, exercise physiologist, uh, one of my favorite running uh, teachers. And uh, Philip Ladder, I don't know that much about him, he says here that he writes for Runner's World, Running Times, and he's also a runner himself. We'll go through the contents of the book a little bit, but first of all I want to just say, what makes this book so great is Pete Fitzinger's style, or I guess the style of the book, they're both involved in it. The style of the book is very, everything's just very well explained, okay? It's just, if you're a beginner, or an advanced, either way, this book will teach you the basics of running, particularly from 5K to half marathon. And of course, the other famous book he wrote, probably more famous than this one, is Advanced Marathoning um, by Pete Fitzinger and Scott Douglas. We'll talk about that in another video. Um, and what's sort of the, the hallmark of these two books is that uh, everything is very simply explained. Uh, well, that's not right. It's not simple. Uh, it's complete. He goes through exercise physiology basics, talks about the different styles of training and why they're good and what kind of adaptions you're getting as a runner. So he definitely goes in depth, but he explains it in a way, or they explain it in a way, that's understandable to pretty much anyone. Let's look at the contents. Uh, so basically, chap uh, I'll read through the chapters. Elements of training, balancing training and recovery, supplementary training, the well-fed runner's diet, considerations for masters runners, tapering for peak performance, full, and then it gets into the, tra the, the schedules, there's like some training programs included here, following the schedules, base training, training for 5k, 8k to 10k, 15k, 10 mile, half marathon, and training for multiple distance, distances. So if you're into racing essentially, if you're into performance, and you're, you're not just running for fun, if you're actually, well, it's a lot of fun to train, but you know what I mean. If you're running for performance and you want to perform well in different races from 5k to half marathon, this is the book to get, seriously, it's just, it's excellent. And if you want to buy it, just mention it. Uh, there is an affiliate link in the description, an Amazon link, if you click it and you choose to buy, we'll get paid a little bit of a commission, but the price remains the same for you. So if you want to check out the book, you can click that link. Uh, and that would support uh, the Long Trail YouTube channel. So, let's look a little bit into the book here. It talks about lactate, right? Lactate threshold pace. What is it? Understanding lactate threshold pace. Uh, typical lactate threshold values. What is VO2 max training? What does it mean? Interval training, right? What, what, what length of intervals should you do? What the recovery period should be? Uh, he's building a lot on Jack Daniels type training. I made a review of Jack Daniels distance running formula in another video. I'll put a link to it there. So do check that out. He's building a lot on his concepts and of course that further builds on Arthur Lydiard's concepts. Um, and so it's well proven uh, coaching advice uh, and of course based soundly on exercise physiology uh, evidence based training. Um, he goes into some uh, exercises you can do, some just some general strength exercises, um, talks about tapering, you know, before a race, um, I, the role of iron in a runner's diet, talks a little bit about nutrition, uh, goes into supplementary training, as I said, um, essentially, you know, if you're a beginner or an advanced person and you're looking now to build up to your first half marathon, for example, and you're looking, you're thinking, what kind of training should I do? What kind of uh, pace should I hit? How often should I do a tempo run? What is a tempo run anyway? What about interval training versus long runs versus recovery runs? How do I know the difference? That sort of thing. That's all in this book. And of course, as I said, it ends uh, the, the, la the latter part of the book, the second half, I guess, is full of these uh, schedules where it goes through 12 weeks of training, different um, sessions and they're all based on different race distances and different weekly volumes depending on your time investment suppose you're a really advanced runner you might run up to you know 120k per week or, or even 100 miles 
uh, as opposed to someone beginning maybe just running 30 40 kilometers per week so just an excellent book of all the books that I've read and I've read I've read a lot I would say this is the one book to get if you are a beginner as I said it's perfectly fine for advanced runners as well but if you are a beginner you know something like Jack Daniels distance running formula might not be exactly what you're looking for if you are a beginner right if you are or, or even if you run quite a lot but you're a beginner in terms of training uh, systematically or a beginner in terms of exercise physiology this is a perfect introduction to that so if you maybe you have a friend who's just getting into running or maybe you're getting into it yourself or maybe you've been into it for a while but you want to take it more seriously take it to the next level this would be uh, probably the book I would recommend the most so if you're interested go to the link in the description the affiliate link and check it out on Amazon it's a fine day here in Nice, southern France. It's a recovery day for me, so I'm just relaxing. I might do a little bit of an easy run this afternoon, but right now, just making videos and getting some work done. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you as a subscriber to my channel. And if you're interested in more book reviews, I have made quite a few of them. I'll put a link to my book review playlist somewhere here, and you can check that out. Thanks a lot, have an awesome day, uh, wish you all the best in terms of running, training and life in general. Thanks, bye.